Hi, let me introduce you to Gradient Cloner. This is an effect that also can be used as a source. The way you see it now, it mostly acts like a source because there's a video playing underneath. But you can also add or alpha or mask or invert mask it over your videos. I added this because it's a very nice way to create a vignette. That's why it's an effect and not a source. Let's uh, have a look of all the options. At first we have the colors here. Let me choose some nice colors. You can change the midpoint. And you can change the way it blends. Not all colors blend uh, nice with each other. So the color add gives you a bit more options to create a soft gradient. Then we have the ramp options. The default is a linear one, but we also have mirror, uh, angular, and radial. The, um, there's a wrap and straight function. When you wrap it, it will wrap around. So now you can see there's no hard edges. And when you use straight, there's a hard edge. And this also works for all the other functions. So here you have the straight edge, and now it's wrapped around. Um, we also have um, edge wrap. Uh, this is for the radial version. When I move the position of the gradient to the edge, you can see it now repeats. But when I select base, there's the hard edge again. Uh, sometimes you want this hard edge because if you use uh, the straight with a black edge and no offsets, now you have a very nice um, soft white spot or colored spot that you can move around and then no edges will appear at the edge but if you select continue it will wrap around um, let's look at the repetitions so you can clone your gradient you can wrap it around you can move it the offset connected to the amount of repetitions you have Less, lesser repetitions will move faster than big ones. Uh, then we have a width. This changes the width. And let's get a big one. So here you can see the width change. For the angular and radial we have positions. Here you can move the center point around. Um, and for the mirror and the linear, we have the angle. Down here, there are animation options. Uh, default is the fade. So the colors will slowly fade to the next color. And you can change the timing of that. So now you can follow the light operator without uh, jarring color transitions um, you can change the smoothness of that so now it will be a, a hard ramp a different option is to select echo now the now the color changes will bump between your last big color and your recent color you can this also is affected by the speed and the smoothness You can choose to uh, sync that to the beat or on click. So the timing will be the beat you selected on top, but um, all the color changes will not uh, sync to each other. You can see that the timing of the echoes is not synced now, but if I click to beat, they are synced. So this is my overview. I hope you like this plugin. Try it before you buy it and uh, 